Four female celebrities joined the Slingsby Golf Academy back in March, and that's where their golfing journey began. Along the way, they learned to play the game, but more importantly, encouraged others to take up golf. And in August, the four ladies met to find out who would be the winner of the Slingsby Golf Academy 2022. On the tee, from Glen Eagles, Judy Murray. Oi! And the victor's prize was to earn a spot at the world famous, you can hear it, BMW PGA Championship Pro-Am here at Wentworth. Our winner is Judy Murray. Oh! And for Judy Murray today, it would be like no other she has ever experienced before. Welcome to the final episode of the Slingsby Golf Academy 2022. I don't think I realise the enormity of this event. I think it's the biggest on the tour um, and it's just surrounded by spectators and golfers and having just been on the range and watching some incredible players practising so close together, I'm like, oh, how are you not hitting each other? I think that's the rookiness of me. I haven't really got a clue about the golf world, but I'm hugely looking forward. And what an opportunity to play in an event that has Rory McIlroy in it. I would never have imagined I'd get the chance to do that, ever. Yeah, my pro, Matthew, um, at Glen Eagles, his baby's due this week. Um, so I asked Billy uh, if he would come down. Billy was the one who's been responsible for setting up all my lessons and giving me the opportunity to play the nine hole course um, at Glen Eagles and use the driving range and so forth. So yeah, I'm delighted to have him there because apart from anything else, he will make me laugh and that's really <laughs> important. And joining Judy's team is two-time winner on the DP World Tour, Oliver Wilson. The number one thing is, that I think as golfers, we forget that people are generally nervous coming to, in this environment. But there's nothing to be nervous about, so don't worry about that. There's no pressure. It's a nice, great experience. Just come and play and we'll have some fun. And if we play great, brilliant. But if we don't, we'll uh, hopefully enjoy ourselves. Entrepreneur Peter Jones, you know who he is, from Dragon's Den. I'm not nervous. I mean, you're obviously nervous because you don't want to hit anybody. <laughs> so I think that's the worst thing. However, it's a fun day. And if, we, if the weather holds up, it's just great. You get to meet some lovely people. Lots of people come out, 30,000 to come and watch us play golf. Um, it's just a fun day. An Irish businessman, JP McManus. I'd say just go and enjoy yourself and remember nobody's paid to come and see you play so just make the most of it out there and don't worry about the bad shots we'll all have loads of those <laughs> Patchy I would say uh, great fun Loving watching Ollie, especially, um, trying to pick up some tips from him. He gave me some great tips from getting out of the bunker. Yeah, you've just got to accept that every lie is different, every distance is different and not quite competent enough to be as good as maybe I would like to be. However, I think what it does is it makes you want to go out and do more and the only way you're going to get better is actually by playing the courses. So, yeah, it's been, uh, it's been really nice, it's been a super day.
thanks for coming out, ladies. I've absolutely loved it and had I not have done this, I would never be playing golf and... She's a member. She's and, actually joined the club as a member. Yeah, I have and I wouldn't, I'd never have done that. I wouldn't have even probably gone to the driving range on my own, so massive steps forward, even though I'm terrible. Anyone can give it a go, anyone can try it, um, and, it's, and it's good fun, but you don't know until you try. And it's frustrating, don't get me wrong, there are, it's a really frustrating game, it's really difficult, it's really complicated. That's just golf though, isn't it? Well, that's just golf, but life's like that as well, so it's almost like you might as well have a break from life and have a bit of complex golf. <laughs> and, uh, and yeah, it's been great to do it as a group together as well, we've really enjoyed it. Oh yeah. Oh, we're just so proud of her. Like, really, really proud of her. She's just she has nerves of steel and she has such a positive attitude. She's really enjoyed it and all she's had to say is how people have been Warm from the crowd supporting and her and encouraging yeah. her. And she's had like a proper crowd of following her people, following her around. So yeah, well done, Judy. Um, she did great, she had a lot of good shots, contributed, um, and yeah, I mean, to be fair as well, she had a lot of good tee shots on some of the holes where the, the ladies' tees are not set up very friendly. They've got long carries over Heather, so she hit some good tee shots on there and got a little bit unlucky, so um, yeah, she did really well. I obviously have I've admired her sons clearly because I'm a big tennis fan so I've admired her sons from afar but I have to say I really admire her. I can't believe that she's only played three times on a golf course and every hole she got better and better and she's inspiring. Most importantly though we started saying we want to have fun today. Boy have we had fun. She is such a lovely woman and we just laughed all the way around, enjoyed it in spirit. I've met a new friend which is fantastic. Yeah, it was, it was a lot of fun. I mean, I think I um, had to concentrate or try to concentrate quite hard on, on everything, especially when it was in a difficult lie. But I learned a lot from watching Ollie and how he got out of trouble. And he, he's giving me some super tips along the way. And even at the end when we finished, he was giving me some tips on the setup for, you know, when I hit the, when I hit the shots. So I'll go off and practice. And the next time that I get the chance to play in one of these, I'll, I'll hopefully be a whole lot better. Yeah, it, it's wonderful that Slingsby have got behind this initiative. You know, they're one of the sponsors of the BMW PGA event. And I think all of us, Zoe, Anna, Zara and myself, we're all very sporty and we're hugely passionate about getting more women active and into sport. So to be able to use our journeys through golf to hopefully inspire a lot more women and girls to pick up a club or go down to the driving range or get some lessons and get involved, um, you know, that, that's a huge part of why we all did it. I never expected to love golf as much as I have learned to love it. It is massively frustrating and challenging, but it's a great challenge. And I think when you hit a good shot, it doesn't matter if you hit the next 10 rubbish. It's that good shot that keeps you going. Um, so yeah, I've absolutely loved it. And I would say to anyone who is thinking about taking up a sport that's not too frenetic, fresh air, exercise, friendship, go for golf.